All right. Uh, Shalom. Before I start, we give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai Bashem. Bachak Rash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all like Akim. Walk Wathim, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. This is going to be another uh, video to the Spirit. You know, I saw the video that uh, Elder Malcolm did of Chicago and concerning uh, Saad Netter. You know, he made the statements. Basically, he was blaspheming the Most High, you know, rid trying to trying to ridicule uh, the Most High for his judgments. Uh, you know, saying, oh, you know, the Most High does bad things. Our, our understanding of good and evil is nothing compared to the Heavenly Father. So, right? Someone dying in our eyes could be considered bad. But to the Heavenly Father, it's all done for a purpose and a reason. But there's a certain thing that Sonnetter said that in particular uh, pissed me off. And so I got to do a response to this. All right, he was bring, bringing up the uh, fact, and yes, it's a fact that did happen, that Ezekiel's wife uh, died. It was prophesied to Ezekiel, and I'm going to get to it. But it was prophesied to Ezekiel that his wife uh, was going to have to die. All right, and she did die, and the Heavenly Father told Ezekiel, not to mourn, all right, and it is a jacked up situation. But what he forgot to include is the fact that Ezekiel's wife died because of niggas like Sonnetter. Ezekiel's wife died because of worthless, idolatrous, idolatrous Israelites who don't want to believe the Heavenly Father and His Son exist, all right, the niggas who are into Af that African shit. Ezekiel's wife died to be an example to the wicked of our people, all right. Our Ezekiel's wife died because of people like Sonnetter. All right, and if in Ezekiel, wherever he be, if he's uh, currently alive, you know, if he's not dead and is going to be one of the ones direct, resurrected, uh, he would have, he would, he 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 wouldn't be friends with you, uh, Saw Netter. All right, that was an example, and I'll get it, but that was an example to show you how our nation was going to get jacked up. All right, but once again, Ezekiel, Ezekiel's wife died because of niggas like you, Saw Netter, and your wicked mentality. All right, because of all the wickedness of our people, that's why his wife died. He died. The Most High didn't just up and oh, let me just kill a prophet's wife because I feel like it today. All right, it was done for a reason. All right, so let's get some scriptures. Kind, this is perfect, and this is actually the first one we're gonna get is in the book of Ezekiel. All right, Ezekiel eighteen and twenty-five. It says, "Yet ye say the way of the Lord is not equal. Here now, O Israel, is not my way equal?" Are not your ways unequal? All right, this is what the Heavenly Father's saying. He's trying to point the finger at the Heavenly Father. And here it is, the Heavenly, the Heavenly Father's pointing his finger right back because we're the ones in the wrong. We're the ones who disobeyed the covenant. We agreed to it. We agreed that we we're going to follow and listen. We're the ones who broke off. So anything that happens to us ultimately is your own fault, whether it be in this life or in a past life. All right? And if the Heavenly Father decides to take someone out, whether it be you or someone you're close to, it's something that they earned on their own, all right? It's as simple as that. The Heavenly Father is uh, guiltless and faultless, all right? Let me get this. And you have to have that, you have to have that understanding in this truth. Otherwise, you won't last, all right? Because when the Heavenly Father starts to destroy all the wicked people in the world, if you uh, wuss up, all right, and start to, oh, well, why would, why would God do this? God, the have, God isn't all love. The scriptures tell you in Exodus 15 and 3 that the Lord is his uh, name. Uh, uh, the Lord is the man of the war. Uh, the Lord is his name. All right. The Heavenly Father, he's not, he, he has love. He has aspects of love. He has compassion and mercy. But just like your actual father, if he sees some BS that his child is doing, he's going to get down to the bottom of it. And he's going to snip it in the bud, as they say. All right. First Samuel 2 and 6. It says, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. So he does all these things. He kills. He makes sure his babies are born. All right. Some people get into car accidents. All right. Some people were born with a, uh, with a, with a, a extra heart. All right. Or not, a, you know, extra limbs. The Heavenly Father is in control of all these things. We are nothing but subject unto his will and his power and his son. All right. Verse 7. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. All right. It's as simple as that. that it, we're the ones that are unjust. We're the ones that uh, messed up. We don't have the right to question Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let me get this. All right. So don't ever get in that. Uh, 
you know, it's it's one thing to be in the spirit like, damn, why, Lord, man, man, I messed up. Damn, Lord, take this hell off of me. But to be in the point to where you're enraged, <laughs> uh, enraged at the Heavenly Father, to where you're, you want to question him, that's wickedness. That's blasphemy. All right, what Sonnetter is doing is, uh, that's blasphemy, and we're not to follow after that. That's why he doesn't have any understanding, because he's a hater of the Most High, so the Most High keeps him in a stupor. He keeps him from being able to understand uh, this truth. And that's why, ultimately, that's why he hates the Most High. God, this is uh, Isaiah 45 and 9. It says, Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. Let the pot shirt strive with the pro with the let the pot shirt strive with the pot shirts of the earth. So Connor says, Well, turn that strive with, with his maker. It says, <laughs> Basically, you better off beefing with a human being. It says, Let the pot shirt strive with the pot shirts of the earth. You're better off beefing with somebody on your own uh, terrestrial level. How are you going to beef? How do you want to try to have beef with individuals, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that have the ability to simply, if they wanted to, to stop existence, to erase time? In continuation, as we understand it, and to start all over. Well, what? What you can you can throw a you can you can punch him. That's illogical. All right. It says, "What makest thou, or thy work? He hath no hands." All right. So who? Oh uh, no, slot. It says, "Shall the clay say to him that fashion it? What makest thou, or thy work? He hath no hands." So us being the creations, we don't have. It's not even sensible to try to. Uh, to, to back talk Yahweh Bashim Yahushai it's without it's speech without sense alright which Sonetta is uh, famous for uh, Sonetta and that's why you know above uh, it's a lot let me type this in and Sonetta Sonnet is famous for that that's why niggas flock to him because he he gets he does all that razzle dazzle talk, you know, speaking all that BS. All right, and Jake, you know, our people get mesmerized by it, but that's all wickedness. The Heavenly Father isn't mesmerized, the angels aren't, Yahushai isn't. So when he returns, hey, like Elder Malcolm says, Lord willing, hey, they let get their hands on you in that day. Because that's pure, ridiculous blasphemy. All right, and yes, he killed King David, King David's child because King David had committed a, a wicked sin worthy unto death. But he chose to show him mercy and love and spare David and instead slew that child that was born. All right, the Heavenly Father does things. He can do whatever he wants. He, he had his own son get down here on the earth and die for our punk asses. All right, so you should be happy that the Heavenly Father isn't uh, afraid to shed some blood. Because if he was, he wouldn't have sent his son down here to shed his blood on our behalf. Us are being the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, now this is Isaiah 55 and 8. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. So we can't comprehend uh, how he does, how they do. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Con. So we might see something, right? The heaven, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, their understanding is above ours. Here recently, and I'm talking about here in real life, in the city that I live. We had a woman. She was driving in a, a car. She cut off a semi truck. It was a, a the semi trucks that mix concrete, you know, that carry the concrete around. She cut them off and was brake checking them. Then tried to weave around them. He tried to dodge her, and uh, you know the truck flipped over and crushed her to death. There was literally not even anything physically solid left of her body to be collected. She was completely uh, crushed to. She was pulverized. All right, literally. Now, the average person, they look at that, you know, oh, oh my goodness. But for all, you, for all anyone knows, for all we know, that woman, she could have been, any, she could have been on her way to go uh, kill her husband, all right? She could have been on her way to go commit adultery on her husband. We don't know, all right? Everything is of the Most High's will. Whatever he does is what we're subject unto, and that's just how it is because his power is uh, awesome. All right, and when you actually go look up the real meaning of the word awesome, awesome really, it's a lot more uh, frightful word. When someone puts you in awe, all right, when you're at a, 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 you don't know, you're just 
dead solid shook, not knowing what's going on, standing there. The Heavenly Father's power will have you dead solid shook, not knowing what's going on, especially if you want to uh, scoff against him. All right, so this is... Uh, this is Ezekiel 24. So now we're going to get into the reason why the Lord uh, took away Ezekiel's wife. This is Ezekiel 24 and 16. We'll start at. It says, Son of man, behold, I take away from thee the desire of thine eyes with the stroke. Because what? The glory of a man is his woman. All right. Even for the, even the, even us, you know, if you have your, uh, today's time, us, we, we know we're about to get out of here. So we don't live our lives trying to find a, you know, some magical woman. But you have a woman, you know, she she down for the cause. She ride or die. She with you. You know, you might have a kid or two. All right, she trying to do good by you. Hey, that's that's a uh, that's one of your desires. You know, your, the scriptures tell you uh, basically a good wife is like a is a it's a it's a gift. All right, and so what happened? It says, yet neither shalt thou mourn nor weep, and neither shall thy tears run down. Forbear to cry, make no mourning for the dead. Bind the tire of thine head upon thee, and put on and put on thy shoes upon thy feet, and cover not thy lips, and eat not the bread of men. So I spake unto the people in the morning, and at the even my wife died, and I did at at slot. And I did in the morning as I was commanded. So he hey, it was prophesied that his wife was gonna die, and he had to basically be stern about it. He couldn't show any emotion. Why? Because of the next uh, couple of verses, it's going to explain why she didn't just—he didn't just uh, up and kill her for no reason. The next several verses are going to explain why. All right, because of you wicked Israelites. All right, because of our—and you, you had righteous Israelites back then. You know, Lord willing, I and the sincere brothers. You know, all, all those that have been righteous from the beginning. You know, Lord willing. We was exempt. But because of the wickedness of our people, things like this had to happen. All right, Ezekiel 24 and 19. It says, And the people said unto me, Wilt thou not tell us what these things are to us, that thou doest so? Then I answered them, The word, then I answered them, Yep, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Speak unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord power. Behold, I will profane my sanctuary, The excellency of your strength, The desire of your eyes, And that which your soul pitieth, and your sons and your daughters whom ye have left shall fall by the sword. So this is, was an example of what was going to happen to us during that Babylonian captivity. And what's going to happen back again today. Alright. So I met her, you're going to, everything that you cherish, the money that you work so hard to get, whatever woman you worship. Because I know you a woman worshiping sissy boy. Alright. All that Africa crap. The Lord is going to strip all that from you in your eyes and break you down base. Alright. You'd be lucky if your kneecaps ain't kicked in backwards and you're forced to watch with your eyelids cut off and you can't even blink to stop yourself from seeing your judgment. All right, verse 22. And you shall do as I have done. You shall not cover your lips nor eat the bread of men. And your tire shall be upon your heads and your shoes upon your feet. You shall not mourn nor weep, but ye shall pine away for your iniquities and mourn one toward another. So that happened to be an example, ultimately, what was going to happen to the wicked of our people. You're going to go out in a horrific, bad way, a disastrous way, and not have anyone to help you or redeem you. You're not even going to have time to cry. You're just going to be dying so hardcore. All right? That's what's going to happen to people like you, Sonnetter. Scoffers of the Most High. Haters of God and His Son. Like the scripture says. Haters of the, <laughs> haters of the Most High. All right, verse 24. Thus Ezekiel is unto you a sign. According to all that he hath done, shall ye do. And when this cometh, ye shall know that I'm Yahweh Bashem Yashai Power. So when this happens, that's when you people are going to get it. Son, that you're going to wish that you never made that video. You and all your associates, all the people of this world who come up against the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yashai are going to wish that they weren't born. They're going to wish that you didn't persecute his prophets, that you didn't make your, that you didn't, talk the smack to us that you talk all you people are going to find out the hard way and that's the only way our people ever find out that's the only way they find out is the hard way all right so with that i'm gonna give all praises to you how will bashim yow shai bashim rakak horash the of the apostles and elders great millstone peace blessings and salutations to all like the akim walk learning and teaching in truth and sincerity with that i say shalom